You don't know my name, not my real name. I am a creature of the shadows, a creature of the night. I am a man, and yet I am more than a man. I've been Cardinal City's protector for over a decade now. It's been a tough job, a dangerous job, but I will never quit. I will never surrender. I keep the city safe. You don't know my name, but you can call me Nightwolf. It's time to go to work. This is Captain Turnley of the Cardinal City Police Department. Give yourself up, Hoop. We've got the place surrounded. Damn it, Al. They're not going to come out. My men are ready to go in, Captain. You give the word, and we'll finish this. No, it'll be a bloodbath. If only there was another way. What's the situation, Captain Turnley? Nightwolf, thank God! A madman calling himself the Hoop has taken Cardinal City Savings and Loans hostage. How many hostiles? We think two. Bystanders? As near as we can estimate, three staff and at least five customers. What kind of firepower are we facing? The Hoop has a handgun and the other one has a shotgun. And by the looks of things, they know how to use them. Quite a situation you have here. Well, good luck, Captain Turnley. Hey, where are you going? Home. But the bank? Yeah. Well, aren't you going to take down the gunmen? They'll shoot me. Oh, yes, they might, but you're a hero. Isn't this what you do? Well, this isn't exactly my kind of thing. They have guns. It looks dangerous. Look, my advice is negotiate. Perhaps you could give them a plane. They always want planes. Look, it's Wolf Boy. Oh, great. Captain, Night Wolf. I hear you've been having a little trouble with this hoop character. Nothing I'm sure you can't handle, Wolf Boy. Oh, that's right. Kiss his ass. <laughs> Good to see you again, old friend. How long's it been? Not long enough. <laughs> there you go again. He used to do that all the time when I was his sidekick. He'd insult me and question my parentage. What a joker. I miss the old days. Oh, really? Because I've been doing just damn fine without you. You were always holding me back. What a guy. I'm okay. I've moved on. Things are just great. I'm a lone wolf now. Alone. All alone. We sure could use some assistance right now, Wolf Boy. It's not like I need the company. I have lots of friends. I could make a list, but that would take too long. And I need a lot of paper. Maybe an extra pen? Maybe not. Okay then, gentlemen. We're through the looking glass here. I'm going to need the old blueprints for this building. OK. Check. I also want a breakdown of all their security systems. You got I'll it. need you to take out the power within a one block radius and I'll need you to keep your men back, right back. Check. Now, I see this building's north facing. What the hell are you doing? I'm planning my attack. I'm sorry, did you want to take this one? I, uh. Well, What's I... wrong, Wolf Boy? Oh, nothing's wrong. Nightwolf's going to go in and I can't think of a better guy for the job. Nightwolf's going to go in. I am? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. Don't panic, everybody! Everything's under control! So, you're an armed robber? I am everything, and I am nothing. For I am the hoop, ever-spinning, eternal... <laughs> oh, good, I'm... I'm glad we got that straight. What's going on? They seem to be holding Nightwolf hostage. I see. That old game. What? Back when he and I were partners, Nightwolf would often allow himself to be captured just so he could lull the enemy into a false sense of security. So it's like a trap? Exactly. Well, 
I usually rescued him before he had a chance to spring his trap. I always got a little bit angry about that. I was just a kid, so I didn't understand all of his methods. That looks very tiring. Lord, yeah. It's great for the abs, though. So I see. Started off as a bit of a hobby. Using it for evil came later. Well, it, it's a good gimmick. Very visual. Yeah? Oh, sod this. I really wasn't expecting this job to take so long. Okay, everybody play it cool and no one gets hurt. Having any trouble, honey? No, I... Why aren't you spinning your hoops? Well, it gets a little tiring. Tiring? Tiring? I told you it would get tiring. The hoop thing was all your idea, remember? I wanted to use yo-yos. Again with the yo-yos! Having problems? It's just the wife. She gets a little like this sometimes. What? Nothing! Damn it. He's been in there over an hour. Something's gone wrong. Captain, give him more time. If I know Nightwolf, he'll have a plan. Okay, guys, I... I have a plan. Okay, let's hear it. I think you should let a hostage go as an act of goodwill. Maybe that's not a bad idea. Who's it gonna be? The man with the heart condition? The nun? Or the pregnant lady? Whoa, 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 whoa. I think we should operate a last in, first out policy. What? You should let me go. I'll, I'll let them know you're a reasonable fella. You're not going anywhere. Maguire, give me a magazine. Oh, get off! What are you doing, Wolf Boy? Well, I think we found the getaway driver. Good work, Wolf Boy. But how did you do it? Well, Captain, this vehicle was not produced in that particular shade of silver until three years ago. However, the number plates indicated that the vehicle was six years old, suggesting to me that the plates had been switched. Also, my examination of the tyre tracks revealed a match between these tracks and the tracks found as a string of unsolved robberies in the last six weeks. Also, I saw the driver attempting to fit a hula hoop in the back seat. <laughs> Amazing. Just doing my job, sir, like Nightwolf's doing his. Captain, where's the hoop? What do you want, hoop? What do I want? What does the wind want? When it blows. What does the grass want when it grows? What do the waves want when they wave? That's a good question, Hoop. Why don't you come outside and discuss it with us face to face? You want me to go outside? You have my word you will not be harmed. <laughs> Pardon? No deal! Damn it, Maguire. We're gonna have to go in. No, Captain. Give Nightwolf more time. He's the best chance those people have got. So what are we going to do now? I don't know. I've never been really good at this sort of thing. You're not very good at anything. That's not fair. Hey, hey, calm down. This is not the time to be falling out. She started it! Come on, it doesn't matter who started it. This has been a tense time for you both. Don't let it ruin your marriage. Come on, give her a hug. Come on. Okay, I'm sorry about the robbery. No, I shouldn't have shouted. You were trying your best. Let's never argue again. Oh, isn't that better? Mm. What's going on, Captain? Possibly the fastest case of Stockholm Syndrome on record. Oh, come on. I think we all know I'm worth more than 50,000. A hundred thousand. I'm insulted. You're insulting me. Two hundred thousand. Amateurs. One million! Five million! Now we're getting warmer. Come on, don't be shy. So to recap, you want a hundred million in non-sequential notes, a helicopter, a black helicopter, like the one out of Airwolf, a plane to Bermuda with a fully stocked in-flight bar, a signed photo of Elton John circa 1979, or 1983, a DVD player with a selection of DVDs, this must include Pretty Woman and Caddyshack, but not Caddyshack 2, okay, one deep pan pepperoni pizza, one Hawaiian with extra cheese and one margarita thin crust. We're going to have to get back to you on these demands.
I'm pretty certain we can manage the pizzas. Maguire, get your men ready. Okay, sir. I'm ready to rock and roll. Hold it there. I've got an idea. Now they'll take you seriously. I don't want pizza. Can we get Chinese? No. It's important not to make unreasonable demands. Thanks. You've been a great help. I've never really done a negotiation before. Yeah, you've been great. Don't mention it. Glad I could help. You guys had better send me a postcard when you get to Bermuda. You betcha. And some money. Well... Don't worry, don't worry. We can discuss that later. We don't need his help, Captain. Just send my men in. We'll clean that place out in a second. I'm sorry, son. I can't let you do that. This isn't a job for trained police officers. This is a job for one man. One man in a wolf costume. Pizza's here! Oh, good. Arm robberies always make me peckish. Here's the pizzas you ordered. What do we owe you? It's all paid for. That's very nice. Be sure to thank the police from me and such a quick delivery. Wolf boy! The only thing I'm delivering is justice. Normally I wouldn't hit a lady. But you're no lady. That one's all yours, partner. You are not my sodding partner. I have this whole thing under control. Back off! I mean it. I'll kill him. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You're going to shoot me in the head after everything we've been through. <laughs> you ungrateful little bastard. What did you call me? I'm not to aggravate you, I called you an ungrateful little bastard. What's the world coming to? You do someone a favour and they throw it back in your face. Shut up and keep quiet or I'll kill you. I'm about one second away from giving you a beating your mama will feel. Look, over there, it's Liza Minnelli. Ah, get off, get off, you... Ah, ah, oh, my fuck! Oh, I'm, not oh. Oh. I'm warning you, my friend. I am an expert in various miscellaneous martial arts. I have certificates to prove it. I can send you photocopies at a moment's notice. You're on a one-way express train to whooping ass. One way, no stops. Your hooping days are over. Time to go straight. How's the jaw holding up? Fine. Oh, I'm sure it was just a lucky punch. Damn right. I could have handled it. I know, I know. There's always next time. Yeah, next time. Just like old times, eh? Yes, exactly like old times. Are you okay? Can I get you some more ice? Wolf boy, the hero of the hour. Congratulations. <laughs> well, I didn't do it alone. <laughs> I had night, night wolf. Everybody thinks he's great, you know. Just because he goes around showing off all the time by stopping crime, they think he's this nice guy. Wolfboy does charity work. Wolfboy gives art classes to young offenders. Wolfboy saves the earth from alien invasion. It's all surface, you know. There's nothing going on here where it counts. He was my psychic for six years. Six years. Let me tell you why they call them psychics. Because if they're at your side, it's easier for them to stab you in the back. Or they'll kick you in the side. Cocksucker.
you. That's right, Nightwolf. You're looking shit. This is Hazel, my personal assistant. Don't worry, we haven't caught her on a bad day. She always looks like this. Hi. Don't talk to the camera. Only I can talk to the camera. Oh. Just ignore them. Pretend they're not here. They like it that way. Much like the Amish. Fine. I've brought someone along with me. Oh, fan. No, you don't have any fans. It's your new sidekick. Oh. We talked about this yesterday, remember? <sighs> right, well, where is he? He's... He's a little shy. Kid, get your ass over here! Here he is. Criminals beware. Scrawny little runt. I don't think he's going to strike terror into evildoers. Yeah, well, neither do you. What's his name? Tell him, kid. You'll like this. I'm Toothbrush Boy. Pardon? Toothbrush Boy. Toothbrush Boy. Hazel. What the hell is going on? I'm supposed to go into action with someone calling themselves Toothbrush Boy. I'll be a laughing stock. You are a laughing stock. Look, this is the best I can do. I'm sure he has skills. He's just hiding them very well. Does he have any powers? He didn't put any on the application form. This toothbrush shit, what's that all about? Does he use them as weapons? I don't know. Maybe he's just proud of his teeth. You could ask him. You ask him, he gives me the creeps. Oh, don't do that, kid. It doesn't turn me on. Sorry. So, why are you called Toothbrush Boy? I collect teeth. You collect teeth? He collects teeth. Wow, aren't we an adorable little serial killer? You have nasty things. Back off, kid. I'll break you like a twig. I'll um, leave you two alone. Uh, Hazel, you can't leave me here with this freak. I have things to do. What things? I'll think of something. You did say you took three sugars. Uh, I, I don't have sugar. Well, you do now. I've put milk in for you, is that all right? I can't have milk. I'm lactose intolerant. Well, it's more for me. <sighs> God, I needed that. Chocolate finger. Now, a lot of untrue, hurtful things have been said about my use of psychics over the years. Just to clear this up, I have never used any of them as human shields. Well, except for Human Shield Boy, of course. He had the power to deflect bullets and bombs and knives. Sadly, he died in the line of duty, shot 26 times at close range. Turned out, he didn't actually have the power to deflect any weapon. Merely the ambition. A small, yet for him, crucial difference. This is Jeremiah Kane, an old enemy of mine. Currently an inmate at the Carlton Asylum for the Criminally Deranged. I used to say, that if there was chaos on the menu, Jeremiah Kane will be the waiter. I like to visit him here. Carry on the battle of wits the ones we waged outside these walls. Checkmate. What? Checkmate. Oh, well done, my friend. This time the victory is yours. The next it time... It took me five moves to beat you. Do you even know how to play this game? Well, yes. Of course I do. Then what's this piece? That's the... Pawn. No, it's the king! You're supposed to protect the king! I thought you were supposed to protect the horse! It's not a horse, it's a knight! Why didn't you tell me you didn't know how to play? I did suggest another game. You suggested I spy. This is an empty room. What are you spying here? I spy with my little eye something beginning with... T. Table. No, it's not the table. 
Then what is it? I'm not telling you. What is it? You have to guess. It's the table, isn't it? Yes, it's the table. Never mind. So, Nightwolf, did you have any difficulty getting here today? No, uh, traffic was light. No, I mean here, in this room. Did the guards try and stop you? How many guards are there? Two on the main gate, one outside the door. Though I've noticed, if I come between one and say 2.30, they only seem to have a skeleton security staff. Often, they don't even guard the east exit. Why do you ask? No reason, no reason at all. And through here is the heart of my crime-fighting operation. The fabled Wolf's Lair. I couldn't get planning permission to have a cave underneath the house, so I had one transferred to my back room. This is where I like to brood and contemplate my war on crime. This is also where I keep the wolf phone. Captain Turnley's own hotline to me. For emergencies, of course. Looks like we're in luck. Time for action. Nightwolf here. Ah. I see. No. No, we, we don't do pizza. And no, my name is not Signor Krusty. Don't worry. No, it, it happens all the time. I really must get that number changed. This is how I spend the majority of my crime-fighting time, patrolling. I think people feel more secure knowing I'm out here, knowing I'm making the streets a safer place. Wait. No, nothing. Crime-fighting isn't all about excitement, you know. Most people assume that if you patrol for long enough, someone will rob a bank in front of you. Rarely happens. Rarely happens. As the larger crimes are somewhat harder to find, I've decided to operate a zero tolerance policy on smaller crimes. Loitering is down nearly 6% on this time last year. We make a real difference. I'm running a little low on petrol, so I'll pull in here for a bit to see if the crime comes to me. The secret in this game is vigilance. You take your eye off the ball for one second and that's it. The streets have beaten you. They've stolen your ball. Or whatever. It reminds me very much of a... Jesus! Looking for a good time? Excuse me? Mmm, you like to dress up, do you? Kinky stuff will cost you more. More still if you want to film it. I am on patrol, madam. It's not that I'm not flattered, but... <coughs> this is a mammoth misunderstanding, officer. Yes, yes, I'm sure it is. Could I see your driver's licence and your registration documents, please? I'm afraid I can't do that. I have a, a secret identity. A secret identity? To protect my loved ones. Ah, your loved ones. And is this lady one of your loved ones? No, I just met this lady. That's right, lover. You don't have to tell him anything. I have nothing to tell and don't call me lover. You don't have to explain yourself to him. Well, that's right. Look, it's a free country. If he wants to dress up in bondage gear, well then, that's his business. This man should be ashamed of who he is. Should be proud of who he is. A deviant. I'm not a deviant! Don't say anything! Sure you like whips and handcuffs and chains. Maybe you like to be tied up and smeared in chocolate. Maybe you like to call yourself Doris at the weekends. Stick up for yourself, man! You're not sick, you're just different. Can you just arrest her, please? I don't think we need to put that bit in the film. The costume, there's nothing kinky in it for me. I know some people take things a bit far. 
I was held captive once for six weeks by Madame Leather. I don't like to talk about it. I still can't see a truncheon without clenching. I've been fascinated by teeth from an early age. My dad, who's a dentist by the way, always said that our teeth are the most precious things we own. He'd even give me regular dental checkups, sometimes three or even four a day. Then the unthinkable happened. A rival dentist wanted to buy out my dad, but he wasn't going to sell. Teeth was his life, it was all he knew. One day he was doing some routine filling work on one of his regular patients. Unbeknownst to him, the drill he'd been using had been sabotaged. The police weren't interested in punishing the man responsible. They just felt it was an everyday dental accident, one of the risks of the job. As I sat alone in my study, pondering the fates that led me to this day, I noticed something out the corner of my eye, on a glass, on a table, it was my dad's toothbrush. I knew from that the honour would not be Andrew Prentice. I'd be toothbrush boy. And then I saw the ad in the paper for this job and thought, why not? The problem is, toothbrush boy, you're not going to scare anyone. There's something missing. You need a weapon. him a weapon. A weapon? It's a pole with a brush on it. It's supposed to look like a toothbrush. Right, and what's the point of that then? I mean, how many emergencies really require the use of a giant toothbrush? I feel it's better to have a giant toothbrush and not need one than it is to need a giant toothbrush and not have one. Your logic is impeccable. Nightwolf has been Cardinal City's champion for over a decade now. I think we're all grateful for the hard work he's done. But times have changed, and he's not getting any younger. So I think it's time Nightwolf hung up his tights and enjoyed a well-earned retirement. A few years ago, maybe he was up to the job. But lately, he's just been making too many mistakes. He tried to stop some striking librarians last week. I had to send a SWAT team in after him. I lost three good men. Hello. Hear that? The legendary wolf's howl. I used to do it live, you know, jump out on evildoers and... Hello. See? Put the fear of God into them. Arizona timber wolf. Hello. Now that... That's an octave higher. That's the Japanese fighting wolf. Doesn't always get the job done. Now that, that's the Brazilian main wolf. That's my favorite. Arctic Canis lupus, particularly good against burglars. Never seems to work before 10 p.m. I gave up doing the howling live after a particularly bad combat experience. I was fighting the sovereign serpent and I tried for a Paraguayan Chrysokian Brachiurus howl that's a particularly difficult one as it involves the whole of the lower throat. Sadly, I coughed out my larynx and after that I was in no fit condition to fight the Sovereign Serpent. 
especially after his followers beat me half to death while I was down. So now I now I pre-record them. Oh, now this one's this one's great. This one's great. Madagascan tree wolf. That's not right. This clay is only found in one place in the city. It matches the mud I found on these trainers, which in turn exactly matches the sample I took this morning from my carpet. OK, I confess. I didn't wipe my feet when I came in this morning. Science, my young apprentice. The cornerstone of modern crime fighting. That, and actually fighting criminals. What? What's this? Ah, now this. This is the miniature city of Tamar. I used to make models like this myself. Did you get it from that, that model shop in town? Nothing quite so ordinary or commonplace. The city of Tamar used to be a thriving city in the Klaktu Nebula. That is, until one day the evil Dr Photon miniaturised it using his shrinking ray. You mean this is a real city? Of course. Look, <laughs> they all fall over. You mean there are people in there? Well, it wouldn't be much of a city without people. I saved the city from destruction. And now, they worship me like a god. LIKE A GOD! A whole city full of people, I mean, do they eat? I don't know. Each other. Well, how are you going to normalise them, make them proper size? Well, they're not the most advanced people, the world isn't missing much. They're mainly scholars, poets, philosophers. You know, hippies. <laughs> <laughs> And as for bringing them back to normal size, well, it's a matter of finding the time. I'm not a patient god, as they well know. Sometimes I'm an angry god and leave the light on or put the stereo too near the city walls. Other times I'm a benevolent god and rain down fruit and nuts upon them. Eat, my people! Eat! <laughs> oh, I've got a great idea. I don't think they're eating any. Maybe you should have cut it up a little bit. <laughs> Look at them go. <laughs> Nightwolf doesn't like to do any paperwork. He feels it takes him away from fighting crime. Most people don't realise how much red tape there is in this business. You'll need superhero permits from the city. You have to join the union. Insurance, tax, you name it. And it's up to me to keep all this straight so he can concentrate on the more important things. Hazel! Hazel, look what I've just bought! Jesus, you've got a crossbow! Why the hell do you need a crossbow? Crime fighting, of course. Don't you think it's a bit lethal? Well, no! I'll use it to pin evildoers to the wall through their clothing. Are you not William Sodding Tell? You're going to kill someone with that thing. I just need a bit of practice. Did you get a receipt? I'm not taking it back. You made me give the machete back. I'm drawing the line this time. You are not keeping it. Just for a week. See if I can get the hang of it. If I'm no good at the end of the week, then I'll take it back, OK? OK, I suppose. Toothbrush boy! Get your ass in here! Bring some apples! Three of them there were. Ninjas with those uh, nunchucks, all spinning and screaming like they do. Bang, 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 all of them down in seconds. But then, big trouble. This giant appears from nowhere, huge axe in his hand. But you know what they say, the bigger they are, the harder they come. Roundhouse kick sent him reeling, but the knockout kick had him down for the count. End of story. Anyway, it was an excellent film. Arena of Blood, I think it was called. Wait a minute, what's that up ahead? Carjacking? Not in my town, mister. Time for action. Boys in blue are joining in the chase. I was not speeding, I was in a high-speed pursuit. Now, sir, you know we don't allow the public to get involved in high-speed pursuits. It contravenes all road safety. But I'm a crime fighter. Funny you should say that, sir. So am I.
Well, I'm not paying it. There was a time when crime fighters were shown a little respect. When the police used to cut us a break. Commander Cyclone once blew 16 blind pensioners off a cliff. He got let off with a verbal warning. I miss the old days. Now remember, we not only fight crime with our fists, but with our minds. You must learn to clear your mind in order to achieve total clarity. How do we do that? Well, I find it's best not to put too much information into my mind. For example, when you were telling me about your uncle's hernia operation, I focused on a point on the wall and thought of cornfields. Oh. Now, don't take it personally, kid, but your life is incredibly boring. OK. So to help you hone your mind, I have some breathing exercises. These breathing exercises are of ancient origin, passed down from master to master, over generation over generation. Luckily, they are available on my website. So, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, deep breath. Oh, excuse me. Hello. Oh yeah, Hazel. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's working out fine, yeah. So what's this about? Oh, the after-dinner speech, yes. Yes, that went well, they love me there. Who was offended? Nuns are always offended, especially at the more racy material. I don't see why I should apologise. Well, they can't guarantee I'm going to hell. I don't care what the Pope said, and as head of the Catholic Church, he shouldn't use language like that. Look, Hazel, I'm a bit busy at the minute. Can I phone you back later? Okay, right. <coughs> and breathe out. <coughs> Goddamn lungs, I think they're so fucking clever. <coughs> I had a pretty normal upbringing. Father left when I was three. That was hard. Mother did her best. But she had to sell me to a gypsy couple when I was nine. They kept me in a box in the summer months. Not that I'm complaining. I had my friends. None of them real, of course. I'm here. Captain, put us to work. <laughs> Who the hell's this? This is my new sidekick. What's his name? My name is... Unimportant. Captain, we have work to do. No, we don't, Nightwolf. I'm afraid ever since Wolfboy smashed the mobs, things are pretty quiet around here. Crime is at an all-time low. So, no one's holding the city to ransom or anything? Nope. In fact, I was thinking of taking the afternoon off. Where are you going? I'm planning a little shopping trip. I need to get a new shirt. Do you mind if we tag along? Yes, I do mind. Okay, you probably don't need our help buying a shirt. No. Perhaps I could give you a lift in my car or... We could take in a movie. No thanks, I just want to get a shirt. Okay, just a thought. No pressure. 98, 99, 100. Coming ready or not? Oh, I found you. That was quick. Ow! One, two, Three, Night Wolf. Four. Five. Stop! I'm not playing. You're supposed to be hiding. And where am I supposed to hide? There's always under the table. I'm not playing this game. What do you want to do? Let's just sit and talk like old friends. Okay. Terrible weather we've been having. I haven't been outside in three years. Just as well. It's been raining. Nightwolf, how far would you say the asylum boundary fence is from the main road? Could a man make it on foot in 30 minutes if he cut through the woods? It's a strange question. No, I happen to have a keen interest in geography. 
the first rule of crime fighting, Toothbrush Boy, is know your enemy. It's difficult to keep track of the myriad of dangerous criminals that I might face at any time on a day-to-day -day basis. That's why I keep files on them here, in the Wolf computer. It's not as sophisticated as some machines, but it's served me well. Looks a little old. I've never needed better. So you keep records of all the criminals on disk? Ah, much better than that. Cassette. Look, I'll show you. You put that in the machine. L O A D. Now, press play on the tape. Now, this should just take a moment. I'm not connected to the police computer as I don't have a modem. I'm not really that good at computers. I thought about taking a night course, but um, I work nights. Do you know much about computers? Just the basics. How much uh, gig does it have? Gig? Uh, well, let's see. Um, oh yes, plenty. It's okay if you don't know. I think I know my own machine. I'm not an idiot. So, how much gig does it have? Eight. Hundred. Really? Thousand and three. It's a lot. Is it? Is it really? Please rewind tape and try again. Maybe it's the gig. Okay, that's the last one. I have more boxes in the car for you. More boxes? Job. Perhaps I can help you though. Oh, thanks. It's Hazel, isn't it? Yeah, I work for Nightwolf. It's not permanent, just until I find something else. Well, Nightwolf's one lucky guy having such a dedicated and lovely assistant, I mean. I'm not that dedicated. I'm sure you are. That's a heavy box. You must work out. Uh, just a few hours a day. Really? Does your wife or girlfriend work out with you, or are you single? Hazel! Nightwolf! Wolfboy was just helping me with these boxes. I'm always ready to rescue a damsel in distress. My hero. <laughs> Out of my way. Let me help. Need some help, old chum? No, I'm fine. I'll just leave that there. I found the problem, Nightwolf. It's trapped in this plastic thing. It's. Wolf boy. It's an honor to meet you, sir. The honor's all mine, son. I actually came here to meet you. You did? Yes, I heard Knight had a new partner and I thought. Sidekick! I... Not partner. Sidekick. I heard that the old warhorse had a new sidekick, so I thought I'd come and welcome you to the team. The team? Sure. Even though Knight and I don't work together anymore. I still think that we're part of the Brotherhood of Crime Fighters. We share a bond. Yeah, well, thanks for coming. Try not to let the door hit you on the arse on the way out. <laughs> God, I've missed that sense of humour. Well, gentlemen, I promise the children at St Christopher's Orphanage I'd drop in them before supper time. I'd hate to disappoint them. Toothbrush boy. Nightwolf. Hazel. Well, I think I speak for us all when I say, what a wanker. The great thing about working with Knight was his generosity. Never trying to do it all himself. I remember our first mission when we fought the Crab Quartet. Despite my inexperience, he let me go in first. Anything could have happened, they'd killed dozens of people, including Knight's last two sidekicks. But he still trusted me to go in and face them alone. In fact, when Killer Claw had his mighty pincers closing round my neck, Nightwolf still didn't demean me by stepping in to save the day. He trusted me to defeat him myself. Okay, we've got uh, six. Who's for milk and sugar? Milk and sugar? Okay. <laughs> The heart 
part of the crime fighter's arsenal. Never be less than six steps ahead of your adversary. Six steps? Of course. While your enemy is trying to activate the annihilation device, you should not only have disarmed it, but should have mapped your route home to take you past the dry cleaners where you dropped off your cape the evening before. Forward planning, my young apprentice. Forward planning. Right. Now, for the purposes of this simulation, you are this onion. And this salt shaker is the enemy. Let's say the Red Reaper or some other villain. Obviously this isn't to scale. Now, the Red Reaper's minding his own business. Perhaps he's taking a day off from world domination to get a breath of fresh air. How do you proceed? I'd sneak up on him. The Red Reaper moves further away. Perhaps he's seen you. Perhaps he's gone to feed the ducks. The ducks? Stay with the simulation. I got his escape. Good move. Aha! Surprise attack. Hey! Six steps ahead. You should have anticipated the ambush. From a plant pot? From a giant killer plant pot. You still have much to learn. I've been working for Nightwolf for ten years now. No, wait, it's just three. Seems like longer. I'm supposedly here to try and boost his public profile. He'd like to spread out into other areas beyond crime fighting, TV and film mostly, which is, I guess, why he agreed to do this documentary. He was in a film before, actually. It was a few years ago. And the door. Assume. I am the wolf that stalks by night. Ha! Ah, an ill wind blows across the marshes. Ah, oh, the ants will be out before Christmas, says Jennifer in a pretty autumn gown. But it is so dark, so dark. Oh, please, come, dark stranger. Have you a carrot for me? Lo, for I have a carrot. Fuck knows what that was all about. Carrots, I suppose. Making the movie was a great experience. I didn't understand what was going on as the crew spoke French, or possibly Spanish, something foreign. I had offers for major movie work. I'd have gone too. Only I, I can't give up my crime fighting to fly to Lithuania. So, I've tried to concentrate on getting in public appearances, after dinner speaking, opening supermarkets, shit like that. It's an uphill struggle though, because the man's clearly an idiot and has no way of hiding it. Hello? The Town Hall. 10pm. No, this isn't Nightway Taxis, but... If you could give me till, say, 11.30, then I... Hello? Hello? In order to fight crime, you need not only a healthy mind, but a healthy body. Right. Right, yeah. My fitness regime would break an Olympic level athlete. It's not for the faint hearted. Can you lift all those weights? <laughs> Let's find out, shall we? This could be dangerous. You might want to move back a bit. Now you know what to do if something goes wrong. I'll get Hazel. No. Get an ambulance. Maybe you should take off the paint pots. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
How many did you take off? All of them. Oh. Bugger. Should we get on with this game? Sure. Let the games begin. Strength, seven. Strength, nine. Endurance, nine. Who's that? The patron saint. At height, six foot. Six foot two. Really? Who's that? Yours, truly. It says five foot nine here. It's wrong. I'm six two. It doesn't matter. The card says five nine. I win. Well, who have you got there, anyway? Wax Lyrical. Wax, wax Lyrical. Wax Lyrical is a stick insect in a smoking jacket. It doesn't matter. He's taller than you, and that's what counts. I wiped the floor with him last time we fought. Literally. That may be so, but he beat you today because he's taller. He's not taller. The information on these cards is erroneous. And even if he was taller, what possible bearing could that have in a fight? I could kick his legs away. OK, what else is wrong about you here? Strength, six. Endurance, four. Maybe. Weapons, two. Skills, none. Height, Five foot nine, intelligence three. Oh, this is a stupid game. I could buy the updated game. No. Why not? You know why not. They didn't put me in the updated game. And anyway, these cards have history. The Phantom Swapper. Heebie Jeebie. Captain Cremation. All dead. Panic button. Is he dead? He was, but not anymore. The staller. He's a villain now. Damn, he owes me money. Hazel. Wolf Boy's card. I thought I told you to burn this. Strength, seven. Seven. I saw him beaten up by the Kettle King. Seven, my furry ears. Yet he's in the update. Let's not go down that road. Remember what we said about the glass being half full? Half full? Half full. The glass is empty, Hazel. The glass is broken. It's in splinters. It's in the bin. Damn it, Hazel. He used to be my sidekick. Now he has better stats than I do. Nightwolf, if I strapped on a cape, I'd have better stats than you do. It's just that you have skills that can't be measured. Like what? I don't know. You have very good penmanship. That's true. I do. Wolf Boy's writing is shit. It looks like a Kid's nosebleed in a windstorm. Hey, there you go. I should put that in these cards. That'll be for me. I uh, forgot to mention I was going out this evening. What? Didn't you wonder why I was all dressed up? Well, I thought you were coming on to me. Right. You don't have to see me to the door. to answer that? Of course. Well, bye. What's going on, Hazel? Wolf boy. Hello, Nightwolf. Well, this is nice. I guess we'll be going. Oh, we're in no hurry. The reservations are in an hour. Still, traffic. So you two are dating. Yes, I hope this is OK. I know Hazel works for you, but... Uh... Fine, fine, fine. You two go on your date. I'll be alright, don't worry about me. Have you got any plans for tonight? I have plans. Big plans. Really? What? I have a date. A hot date with a hot babe. With who? You don't know her. Her name's Rose. Yes, her name's Rose. Where are you taking her? I'm not sure. Well, we have reservations at La Plaza. Perhaps you and Rose would like to join us. Well, perhaps we would. Oh, well. Let's go pick her up. Let's do that. You didn't have to invite him along. I like spending time with the old guy. We've been drifting apart. Maybe that's for the best. I don't want the only contact I have with him to be me sending him a card and his origin. I have some good memories of the old days. 
Well, this is my date. Oh yeah, I'm Trixie. I thought your name was Rose. It is. Trixie Rose Schmorgensen. She works in a bank. She's been out for a walk. Nice outfit. Thanks. Will you see little Jimmy? When the princess got back to the castle, the townsfolk threw her a big party with cake and balloons. And they all lived happily ever after. Can you put your father back on? Just be Hello? Was that okay? Well, just glad I could help. I'll call you later, Mr. President. Give my love to the First Lady. Bye. Sorry about that, Hazel. Just doing a favour for an old friend. After all, the children are our future. Give it a rest. No one's buying. Nightwolf, remember what I said about not speaking. No, no, Hazel. Nightwolf's right. It was rude of me to phone at the table. This evening's not about me, it's about you. And the lovely Trixie, of course. So, uh, Trixie, how are you enjoying working in a bank? Oh, it's great. Get to do a lot of bankers. God! The lobster looks good. Have you and Nightwolf known each other long? A couple of days. How long is this going to take? I've got work to do. Oh, you work late? Yeah, I work late. What exactly is it that you do? Well... You know, banking stuff, you know, digits, numbers, that kind of thing. It's not important. What is important is we're together and we're a believable couple. Right, of course you are. I'm glad you agreed to come out with us tonight. Yeah, me too. I, for one, don't get to see enough of you during the day. Well put, Hazel. I realise that things haven't been going so well for you recently. You've had setbacks, not your fault, I know. But I hate to see you falling behind. I know you have a lot to offer, a role to play. I took the opportunity of phoning Captain Incredible, leader of the Mighty Unstoppables. He's prepared to offer you a place on the team. I'm not a team player! They're a good team. They'd never keep up with me. There are seven people in that team. Have you any idea how long it would take me to train all seven people? I don't think they need training. Captain Incredible said something about maybe training you. This is a major opportunity, Nightwolf. You should thank I'm not one of his charity cases! I'm doing fine, thank you. I have my own documentary team. Do you? Well, no. Ah. So perhaps you're not that important. In fact, I don't know why I'm talking to you at all. Let's just eat and get the hell out of here. Well, that was very nice. Check, please. Did you enjoy your meal, Hazel? Yeah, it was great. Did you enjoy your meal, Trix? Rose? It was cool. Can I have my money now? Later. I'll get this. Fine. You look lovely tonight, Hazel. You don't look so bad yourself. This is extra. I'll call you. Whatever. Are you sure she'll be all right walking home from me? Yeah, she'll be fine. Look, that guy over there's giving her a lift. Yeah, that's her, um, her uncle. They're very close family. So I see. She seemed nice. Well, you know, I can pick them. The way of the warrior is a dangerous way. Toothbrush boy. The flea that strikes swiftly can fell the mightiest oak. Hand to hand combat isn't just about being a better fighter, it's about being aware of one's karma, and one's karma being aware of oneself. I hope you're taking notes. Hmm? <sighs> Try to hit me, Hazel. You sure? Attack. If you like, I can kick you in the nuts. Okay, okay. Hit me again, toothbrush boy. 
Watch how I block her. Lucky shot. Again? <coughs> now? <coughs> that got it, that got it. Let's see what you've got. Bring it on! Let's see what you've got. <coughs> Mommy! Is he going to be okay? Yes, this happens to him all the time. Oh. Night Wolf! For the record, I don't want to double date any more. Okay, okay. I think I swallowed the tooth. Back off, kid. Just back off. Again. You're very good at this. Statistically, we should have had at least a draw by now. I I'm getting better. Perhaps. Did you bring those items I requested? Yes, I did. Though I'm not sure why you need the architectural plans to the asylum. Architecture happens to be one of my hobbies. That and killing. Well, here it is. Are the security cameras marked on? Security cameras? They haven't worked for weeks. They're supposed to be getting someone in to fix it next month, but don't hold your breath. That is very interesting. I suppose so. You're a bit weird sometimes. Anyway, I, I, I'd better be going. Can I borrow this? Mine ran out of ink last week. Yeah, sure. I, I've got plenty of them. I'll see you soon, yeah? Not sooner than you think, my friend. What's that? Nothing. The path we choose is not an easy one, son. I need to know, before we go on your first patrol, that you are certain. That you are prepared to walk the walk of the wolf. Yeah. Then swear an oath on this. Night Wolf. My struggle. An autobiography. I have almost 600 copies if you'd like one. No thanks. Fine. I, Toothbrush Boy, do solemnly swear. You're supposed to repeat after me. Sorry. I, Toothbrush Boy, do solemnly swear. To fight for all that is right and just. To fight for all that is just and right. Right and just. Sorry. Right and just. To protect my partner, Nightwolf's life, even at severe and painful risk to my own. To protect my partner, Nightwolf's life, at severe and painful risk of my own. To throw myself in the path of a bullet or to take knives, bombs, or other miscellaneous deadly devices aimed at my beloved mentor. Okay. To fight for what's right, to punish evil in all its forms, no matter where our quest may take us, no matter who gets in our way. We shall fight as one, like brothers, or reasonably close cousins. This will be the dawning of a new age, an age of justice and peace. An age where I shall finally get the recognition denied me by those small-minded bastards who wouldn't know a superhero if he popped out of their arse carrying a destructo ray. This will be our time, Toothbrush Boy. Onward, onward to destiny. Do you swear? Do you swear? Yes. Then follow me, Toothbrush Boy, and let criminals tremble! Well, that was weird. Don't talk to the camera! So, these are the mean streets of Cardinal City. Looks a little quiet. Only to the untrained eye. All my senses are tuned to the frequency of the street. 
I know what these people are planning before they do. I can smell crime. It's like a sixth sense. So we just drive around looking for crime? That's patrolling, yes. Well, I would have thought that if criminals were committing crime, when they heard the car, they'd hide and then come back out and were driven away. In its own way, that is fighting crime. You have a lot to learn, Toothbrush Boy. This is boring. Look at them out there. All of them potential lawbreakers. Remember that, Toothbrush Boy. Always remain vigilant. When I see a, a mother with a small baby, I don't think, oh, how cute, because it's not cute. She's probably out stealing cars for her alcoholic ex-con boyfriend. And as for the baby, well, it's only a matter of time before it steps out of line. But I'll be waiting for that day, Toothbrush Boy. I'll be waiting. Is this going to take much longer? It might take hours. It might take days. It might take... Please don't say weeks. I tracked a criminal once for six months. Six months? It took six months to catch him? No. After six months, I gave up. I tracked him from Hawaii to Honduras, via Paris, Rome, Miami and Sydney. Well, how come you gave up? I ran out of air miles. So, do you have a girlfriend? No. Nope. How's, um, how's school going? Okay, I guess. Do you want to see my tooth collection? I've got some nice molars. No, that's, that's okay, thanks. You've got nice teeth. Back off, kid. You're not getting your hands on these pearly whites. I never take your teeth out while you're still alive. Are you saying that to reassure me? Because it's not working. What are those guys doing? Why? Do you want their teeth as well? They look suspicious. Let's move. Gentlemen, I'm, I'm sure we don't want any trouble. Perhaps if we all leave now, we can forget this whole sorry episode. All right, all right. You can take one item each. Now that's a fair deal. We don't deal. We kill. Five or two. That's hardly fair. The boy. Think of the boy. <laughs> Go away, you bastard. Well, we foiled the crime, that's the main thing. I'm, I'm glad Toothbrush Boy could think on his feet like that. Bastards! In any mentor-psychic relationship, there's a, a transitional period. It's like... It's like assembling a flat pack wardrobe. It's, it's just something you've got to work at. Dad! 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 Can you guys just, just piss off for a moment? Just piss off! Look, last week, last week when you guys were off filming some other sucker, I was having a good week. I kicked ass often and regularly. I know this week's not been so good, but do you ever think, do you ever think that might be your fault? You know, maybe I don't perform for the camera. Perhaps, perhaps I'm a little shy. Did it ever occur to you I might be a little shy? I could have beaten those guys blindfolded. I 
could have beaten those guys even if they hadn't been wearing blindfolds. It may have looked like Toothbrush Boy did all the work, but... Sod it. What do you want? I need your help. Jeremiah Kane has escaped from Carlton Asylum. He picked the lock and then stabbed the guards with a pen. A pen? God knows how he managed to get hold of one. He knew the place like the back of his hand. Anyway, you know him better than me. I figured we could go in together like the old days. Like the old days? Nightwolf and Wolfboy together again. Come on, old friend, I need your help. You don't need me. You never did. Don't come here again. So what's wrong with him? I don't know, it's just different, like he doesn't care. When you've worked with him as long as I have, you'll learn to ignore his little moods, it's nothing. He said I'd be better off being wolf boy sidekick, as I could learn more from him. He said that? Yeah. Oh. I know you're in there. Go away. Who the hell are you? Nick. Nick Wolfowski. Oh, right. Where's Nightwolf? He's gone. Gone for good. Oh. Wait a minute. Nick Wolfowski. Open this door now. That was your secret identity. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> and this is your disguise. Ow! Get off! What's going on, Nightwolf? I'm not Nightwolf anymore. That's over. Where are you going? I'm packing this stuff away. I'm not going to need it anymore. You can't quit. What about your mission? I don't have a mission. It's over. I can't do this anymore. I don't think I ever could. Oh, screw that. You may be the worst crime fighter in the city. You may be rude, arrogant and exceptionally stupid. But the one thing you have going for you is self-belief. Who cares if you're shit? You're still Nightwolf. Doesn't that mean anything to you? I... Wolfboy's so much better at this than me. Wouldn't you rather be with him? Well, wouldn't you? Well, I... Aren't you going to answer that? What's the point? It's probably only a crank call or a wrong number or someone trying to sell me double glazing. I can't remember the last time anybody called concerning a mission. It's for you. Who is this? Oh, I see. Wolf boy. Right. Yeah. Kidnapped. And why the hell are you telling me this? Oh. You're gloating. Yes, 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 yes. I guess you are evil. Well, yes, thanks for calling. Bye. And? And what? The phone call. Oh, that was Jeremiah Kane. He's kidnapped Wolf Boy. He's going to kill him. And what are you going to do? What can I do? I don't rescue people. Wolf Boy always rescued me. Yeah, well, now you have to rescue him. I mean, if you rescue him, everyone will say you're by far the better crime fighter. She's right. They'll say that it was nothing compared to you. Yeah, can you see the headlines? Nightwolf saves the day. Nightwolf rescues Wolfboy from certain death. Wolfboy, what a wanker. Damn it, that's what I've always said. So you're going to rescue him? Of course. That's what I do. How are we going to find him? When Jeremiah Kane called, could you hear any noises or anything in the background that could lead us to where he is? No, I, I could barely hear him over the sound of the foghorn and the funfair. Mm. Wait a minute. There's a funfair at Shuster Park. That's near the bay. Then I guess the wolf is going to prowl once more. Oh, give me that thing. You'll have someone's eye out with that. How do you know he's in here? Did you work it out from the pitch of the foghorn? Yes, I did, Toothbrush Boy. That and the fact Wolf Boy's car is parked outside. Let's go.
What are you doing? Just making sure Kane can't use this as a getaway vehicle. Oh, I see. Oh, I suppose you're marking it now just in case we have to tail it. That's it. So, why are you writing arsehole on the side? Because he is. Come on. Remember your training. Ah, I see the cavalry's arrived. Where? You think you can stop me, Nightwolf? You're a joke. A pathetic excuse for a hero. I'm leaving this place now. If you try and stop me, I will kill you. I'm not going to try and stop you, Kane. That's one game. I can't win. Ah, found wisdom at last. Stand aside. Toothbrush boy. Yes, boss. Take him, partner. You take care of Kane. I'll get the boy. Nightwolf, thank God. So, I see you managed to get yourself tied up. <laughs> well done. It's a bomb. It'll destroy this whole building and us with it. It's always me, me, me with you. Nightwolf, we've got to hurry. We only have moments left. Quickly untie me and we'll defuse the bomb. No, don't worry, I'll do it. Have you ever defused a bomb before? Not successfully. Now, let's see. I saw a movie where they did this once. Nightwolf. Hey, I'm trying to concentrate. A little consideration, please. No, that didn't do it. Don't kick the bomb, you'll kill us all. Look, you just concentrate on being tied to a chair. I'll concentrate on defusing the bomb. Now, there doesn't seem to be a switch. How the hell do you turn this thing off? Ah, there seems to be a readout here. What does it say? 19. No, 18. 18? No, 16. 15. What can it mean? Can you see any wires? Yes, one red, one green. Cut the red wire. Cut the red wire, you idiot. Cut the red wire. What did you call me? Cut the red wire. Oh, I think it's the green. No, don't die. Oh, I thought it was the red wire. That's why I was the boss. And you? We're just the sidekick. I subdued him. He sure as hell did, Toothbrush Boy. Come on, let's go home. Someone untie me, please. Smile, forget. It's an unlucky history. Well, I guess you could say things have been looking up around here. Defeating Jeremiah Kane has given me a new lease of life. And look at this. I was voted best dressed crime fighter of the year. It's almost a burden being this popular. Hazel's been so busy, I've had to cancel her holidays. Yeah, I was planning to spend two weeks in Barbados with Wolf Boy. Yes, the tickets weren't refundable. I'd been looking forward to it for some time, actually. Anyway, work got in the way, as usual. I guess I'm happy that things have been going so well for Night Wolf. Of course, give him time and he'll fuck it up. Now, sadly, there is room for only one big cheese in this city. That cheese is me. I'm sure Wolf Boy still has a role to play. A small role. Well, I for one, I'm glad Nightwolf's getting the recognition he deserves. He's always been my hero. 
now he's the people's hero. I don't mind taking a back seat for a while. Just because Nightwolf's popular doesn't mean my public has forgotten me. I'm sure I get less fan mail than I did before, but that's okay. My job's my reward. I guess in recent years I've been relying on Wolfboy too much. And that's a mistake, because sometimes experience is better than youth. So these days, when I've got a problem, there's only one man I call. Nightwolf speaking. I see. That sounds serious, Captain Turnley. No, tell your men to stand back. I'll take care of this. Toothbrush boy! What is it? We're needed. What? The doctor said I should rest my arm. Maybe we should go it alone. No, we're a team. Wherever you go, I'll be standing there. Right behind you. Let's go! God, I love my job. Spend it forever, song. 